بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم مائی نیم از وحید الدین حیدر وی آر گوئنگ ٹو لرن اباؤٹ انفارمیشن کوڈنگ تھیوری ان دس کورس واٹ از انفارمیشن کوڈنگ تھیوری واٹ از دا پرپز آف انفارمیشن کوڈنگ ویئر اٹ از یوزڈ اینڈ وائی اٹ از یوزڈ اینڈ ڈفرینٹ انفارمیشن کوڈنگ میتھڈس Let's summarize few major objectives of this course. First of all, what is information coding theory or what is information coding? Then types of information coding. There are two major types of information coding. One is called source coding and the other is called channel coding. Why source coding and channel coding are required and learn different types of channel coding methods, advantages and disadvantages of different <coughs> coding methods. First of all, we have to go through information theory. What is information theory? Information theory was first presented by Claude Elwood Shannon in 1948 in an article, A Mathematical Theory of Communication. He was an, an engineer at Bell Labs when this paper was published in Bell System Technical Journal. The main idea in that theory was that the information can be measured or quantified. Actually, before this uh, theory was presented by uh, Shannon, there was no concept of measuring the information. And even there was no concept that even the information can be measured. But in, uh, Shannon related the measurement of information with uh, probability and how he related the two uh, we are going to learn uh, later on. He proposed that amount of information contained in any message or statement is directly related to its chance of occurrence. Lesser the chance of occurrence, more information is contained in it. It means that he said that if we know the probability of an event, we can measure the um, uh, amount of information contained in it. If and he said that what his theory was that if the uh, probability of that uh, event is very very low to occur then the information it contains is higher or more and if the chances of occurrence are uh, more then it is really not very informative uh, event for us example of less information tomorrow the sun will rise from the east this is not any kind of information for most of the people because most of us already know that sun rises from the east and uh, 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 we all know that sun always rises from the east. So the probability is all, uh, 1 or 100 percent for sun to rise from the east and uh, it is not any, uh, any kind of information for anybody. So if the prob probability of any event is hundred percent or one then the information content in it is zero example of more information there will be no rain in London this year we all know that in rainy season uh, there is a lot of uh, rain in the uh, in London but if somebody tells you that there will there is going to be no rain in London this year then uh, it's a big news for you and the probability of ha happening any such thing is very very low this can be further described in terms of in English alphabetical letters. In a sentence or paragraph, the chances of letter A, E, I, O, or U to appear are far more than X and Z. Uh, everybody who knows English knows that letters A, E, I, O, or U or vowels appear far more frequently than X and Z. For example, up to this point, many vowels have appeared in these slides but not a single time X or Z have appeared. So we can summarize all this in two sentences. First is least probable means more informative and most probable means less informative. Now we are going to uh, we are going to learn some basic uh, concepts which are the building blocks to understand information coding theory and source coding. 
the very first thing we have to have to know or understand is uh, what is a discrete memory less source it simply means that output symbols are independent or uncorrelated to each other it means that any output at any instance does not depend on the previous symbol or character it simply means that when the events are occurring the every event which is uh, occurring is independent of from its previous event for example if we talk about uh, those events in terms of uh, alphabets then we can say that for example uh, over here after I there are uh, the probability what the next letter will be is uh, not uh, limited after I it could have been T or S or L or M or N anything so it is not limited to only T so the occurrence of T is independent from its previous letter but uh, there are some other examples in which we can say that the occurrence of the next letter depends on the previous one for example in this case T and H together like this we know that after T and H then the most probable letters may be A for example it may be that or then or some other word thing so the most probably the next letter will be some vowel binary symmetric channel it is channel between transmitter and receiver that causes error or changed 1 to 0 and 0 to 1 with equal probability it means that the probability of <coughs> flipping or toggling or uh, of uh, a transmitted bit is equal for 1 and 0 the chances of uh, flipping from 1 to 0 is 50 percent and 0 to 1 is also 50 percent suppose one is transmitted through a channel if no error occurred during the transmission through the channel then the receiver will get one otherwise it will get zero now if the channel is binary symmetric channel then probability of receiving the correct bit is 50 percent or 0.5 whether the transmitted bit was one or zero so the channel does not really care about uh, the uh, content which is going through it or uh, whether it is one or zero it uh, behaves equally with both the transmitted bits uh, and uh, the chances of tra uh, chances of flipping of the transmitted bit from 1 to 0 or 0 to 1 is equal BSE is a special case of DMS now let's go through this diagram of BSC here this is the we are talking about two bits for example first case is when we are transmitting 0 this TX uh, stands for transmission and Rx stands for receive now 0 is being transmitted there are two possibilities either the z I, uh, 0 is received as it was transmitted or some error has occurred and 0 has flipped from 0 to 1 now let's go through the first uh, this case when the uh, when an error has occurred suppose this 0 was transmitted and when it is received it has become 0 so it means that during the transmission the error occurred and uh, the receive bit is received uh, the receive bit is has become one in this case the probability is p now here we, what we are saying is that the success is the chances of occurring uh, chances of uh, error the error is p over here in this case probability of a bit getting flipped is error is occurred which is p but if uh, no error occurs is 1 minus p which is failure in this case and which in this case as you can see 0 was transmitted and 0 is received and this is also true for 1 also 1 was transmitted and 0 is received it means error has occurred and that probability again is the same it means this p and this p is same means this is binary symmetric and over here the it is received as it was transmitted is again 1 minus p so this 1 minus p is same as this 1 minus p and this p is same as this p it means that the behavior of the channel is equal for both 1 and 0 what is a code word what's the definition of a code word 
the number and sequence of bits which we assign for a particular symbol or in case of English letters for example uh, letters example to a letter is called a code word suppose we have three letters a b and c and we assign 0 0 to a 0 1 to b and 1 0 to c these assigned bits to a b and c are called code words <coughs> but remember that when we say it is a code word it contains some um, in most of the ca for example in case of channel coding it contains parity bits as well as we mentioned before that for symbols or letters having equal probability the number of bits assigned to each symbol remains the same for example suppose we have only the first eight letters of english alphabet a to h the fixed length code for this set of letters could be we simply make a truth table of three bits and we get what we get is that 000 is as assigned to a 001 is assigned is assigned to b 010 is assigned to c 011 is assigned to d 100 to e 101 to f 110 to g and 111 to h as you can see that here we have assigned the equal number of bits to all the letters regardless how frequently uh, that letter is uh, going to appear in the text as we know that the chances of appearing of A and E in the text are far more than uh, uh, the chances of G and H or F. So the uh, information which is going to be transmitted will contain uh, the equal number of bits for each event or each letter. So we don't get any gain in this case.